Hey, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make some extremely crispy pan-fried fish, along with a rich dashi reduction and a bright asparagus puree. So let's get started by prepping our fish. I'm using a filet of sea bass because that was the best looking fish they had at my store, but sea bass can be pretty expensive, so feel free to use a skin-on cod filet or any sort of mild white fish. Go ahead and cut that into individual portions. Pat it dry with some paper towels to remove some excess moisture. Then coat it liberally with salt. And throw it in the fridge till we need it later. This will remove the excess moisture from the fish so that when we go to fry it, it crisps up real nice. Next up, we're gonna make a dashi concentrate, which is basically gonna be a reduced and thickened stock. So into a medium saucepan, let's throw 500 mils of water along with one sheet of kombu. This is a Japanese dried seaweed, mainly used for these stocks. Go ahead and bring that to a boil. And as soon as it comes to a boil, remove that sheet of kombu because if you leave it in for too long, it'll get bitter. Now we can add in two tablespoons of katsuobushi, AKA bonito flakes. This is a dried smoked fish that gets shaved down into these little flakes. Once those guys are in, kill the heat and let this steep for about five minutes. Now we can strain this out. And what we're left with is called dashi, which is the base of a lot of Japanese soups, including miso soup. Now into the same pot over medium heat, let's throw 15 grams of butter. And once it's melted, we can go in with a shallot that I've cut in half, cut side down, as well as a leek that I've cut in half both ways, also cut side down. Give those guys a few minutes to saute and get brown. Then we can go in with 125 mils of dry sake. If you don't have access to sake where you are, then feel free to use a dry white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc. Maybe even a dry Chardonnay would do well here. Deglaze the bottom of the pot by scraping up all those brown bits. Now we can add back in our dashi, as well as 15 mils each of mirin. That's a sweetened rice wine, similar to cooking wine and 15 mils of dark soy sauce. This is richer and less salty than regular soy sauce, but feel free to use the regular kind if you don't have access to dark soy. Now reduce the heat to low and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. While that's going, let's get a large pot filled with a couple liters of water. Bring it up to a boil and throw in one bunch of asparagus that we snap the woody ends off of. It's really easy to find that spot. You just snap it where it wants to. Blanch those for about five minutes and then plunge them into an ice bath so they don't lose their color. Add those guys to a blender along with 10 grams of salt, 60 grams of butter, and the juice from one lime. Then puree that until smooth. And optionally add 100 milliliters of the dashi to thin out the puree and add some extra flavor. Now back to our dashi. Go ahead and strain in a couple tablespoons of miso. I'm using red miso here for a more robust flavor, but if you want it to be a little bit lighter, then use white miso. Now let's strain that all out so we get out the shallot and the leek. Add in a tablespoon of cornstarch, mix that in thoroughly, and return it to the pan over medium-low heat, stirring constantly until it thickens up. Now finally back to the fish. Let's remove it from the fridge, pat off all the moisture that's risen to the surface, and season it with some salt. Now into a medium skillet over a medium heat. Let's throw 60 grams of butter. I accidentally put in twice that before I realized it would be way too much. So just use 60. Not everything has to be covered in butter. And once that butter has melted and stopped foaming, place the fish in skin side down and let it crisp up for a couple minutes. After two minutes, it should look nice and brown. So let's flip it over. and 
throw it into a preheated 200 Celsius oven for about eight minutes just to make sure the fish is cooked through. And with that, we're ready to plate. So the skin is just shatteringly crispy. The fish is delicate and buttery. That dashi concentrate is rich and bold. And the asparagus puree is bright and acidic and it just cuts right through all that richness. Now the techniques in this are pretty simple and the ingredients are all available online. So it should be pretty easy for you guys to accomplish this at home. And leave a comment down below if you do. See you next time. Cheers.